Nellie's little hat. There was a little bird. That little bird knew lots of things it did upon my word. And in its quiet way, it had a lot to say as the lover strolled along. I'll... And now the bit I'm sure you've all been waiting for, fashionable hats. So I mentioned that pretty much every American woman is going to have a sunbonnet in her closet. And someone who's really, really poor, like Sophie in the stories, or her mom, they might just have that. But for most women, they're going to have at least one nicer hat. Like, even Timmy Bregan's ma, she's just a farm wife, but she probably has a Sunday bonnet. And someone like Addie, or Kitty, or especially Rachel, because she's a clothes horse, they're going to have multiple hats that they keep very nice and tidy and that they use for visiting or shopping or different activities that where they want to look a little nicer than just casual stuff. Now, there were a lot of different fashionable hats. There was a huge variety. And what a woman would wear would depend a lot on what she was like, what her personality was like, what she was like physically. As a general rule, small women tended to wear small hats, just because proportionally a big hat looks kind of disproportional on a small woman. There's a scene at the end of Three Women a Wheel where Ethel, who is really tall, has given all of her big hats to Addie and Addie, <laughs> everyone thinks she looks like a walking hat that's just this walking hat walking down the street. But Addie's fine with it. She's happy. She loves it. That's actually cribbed from, or I got the idea from that, for that from a detective story from the late 19th century where this mystery, all the male detectives are completely mystified by it because this crime has been committed and the only thing anyone can say about the woman who committed it was that she was wearing a huge hat. Now, none of the male detectives can figure this out, but then when they bring in a female detective, she works out that if all that anyone can remember is that the hat was that huge, it was probably a small woman wearing it for the hat to make that big of an impression, and she winds up solving the mystery. So that's where I got the idea for Addie being the walking hat. Anyhow, back to the hats themselves. That idea of small women wearing small hats, that is not a hard, fast rule by any stretch of the imagination. That some small women just liked big hats. Some tall women liked small hats. It's individual, it's different personalities. Also, there are certain situations where even a very tall woman might choose to wear a smaller hat, like if she's going to the theater, or if it's a windy day and she doesn't want the, hat, the wind to steal her hat from her. If it's raining and she needs to fit under an umbrella, any number of reasons. Also, a lot of older, more conservative women tended to prefer small hats just to be less showy. It's all different personalities and different tastes. And hats were decorated different ways. There were velvet, there was ribbon, there were feathers. A lot of them had um, stuffed birds on them. And in some cases, like in Three, Three Women a Wheel, Addie is talking to Ethel and she, it comes out that the birds on Ethel's hats are birds that Ethel has stuffed herself because she's a biologist, she's a scientist. And Addie is very impressed by this. Now the reason I put that in there is because taxidermy actually was a popular hobby for young ladies in the 19th century. It, women were a lot more comfortable back then with dealing with animals in all phases of life. It was far, far more common to prepare birds for the dinner table, going from the clucking fowl in the backyard to the nice roast turkey. And they would do all those steps. And it was just a small, small little shift from preparing a bird for the dinner table to making a pretty bird for your hat. 
The millinery industry was a huge employer for women in the 19th century. The American millinery industry alone employed over 83,000 people just in this country, and most of those were women. They were earning their living by making and decorating hats. So a hat is not just something that sits on your head. It's an expression of personality. It is something that contributes to an industry that gives people jobs and helps them make a living. And a hat is a way to be yourself with a bow on top. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up and remember to tell your friends about my books. Happy reading. I like the hat. I like the dress. I like the little girl that in it I confess. She's just about my style, you see. I like her golden hair, like her roguish air. Love that baby stare. She's got me hip. She's got me grip. She's got me nearly, nearly, nearly off my tip. I like the hat. I like the dress. But what I'm after, I confess, is the girl, the girl, the girl in the tin, the dress. 